You wouldn't quite think it, but inside Regent's Park, the Danish national team trains every Saturday. But as it turns out, it's about more than just football. I mean, there's not, it's it's very uh, it's it's very relaxed around this team. I mean, it's really uh, the social aspects are, are really what what uh, sort of uh, are, are emphasised in the club. But uh, we play some teams, uh, we play some matches ever so often against German teams, Swedish teams, Norwegian teams, and and and, and uh, English teams, and and uh, and of course we have to arrange those matches. We have uh, like a. Uh, Danish church five-a-side tournaments once a year, which we are arranging and getting like company five-a-side teams to participate as well. But it's not just football. It's also a running club who runs on the footpaths in Regent's Park. No, I think it's just a way to keep fit, and with Team Denmark we get to socialise a little bit as well. So that's a big part of it for me. So both uh, socialise and keeping fit. Yes. Yeah. Um, so have you met many new people in London, many Danes? via Team Denmark? Yes, it's a great place to meet new people. So when people come over from Denmark for the first time, they come over here and they have an instant network basically. So they get to meet new Danish people and via them they get a completely new network. So that's a great way to meet people. Well, we're very um, we're associated with the Danish church, which is just up the road here. Um, so the football team, they keep all their stuff at the church in a little shed that they have. Um, so that's why we as a running club are based here as well. So we all socialise a little bit afterwards. Is there any, any other reason why you like running in, in Regent's Park? Um, it's a lovely place to be. It's a really, really nice park. Lots of flowers, lots of ni nice little paths and no cars. It's a, it's, it's a great place to run. Socialising and exercising is one thing. What does the club do to stay in touch with its Danish roots? It's a very much a social club uh, in, in that sense as well. So we minimum arrange two parties a year. We have a summer party, one which is upcoming here in three weeks. Uh, so which we quarterly invite every Dane in London to come and attend to. It's great fun, it's barbecue and, and fun and games. And then we have a, a uh, annual uh, Julefrokost, which is a Christmas uh, party, uh, which tend to be quite wet um, in regards of, of uh, the infamous snaps and, and all the trimmings that we need for, for, the, uh, for the Christmas party. And that's equally fun as well. So, yeah. So, the club is about socialising. But ultimately, sport is the incentive which brings these things together. It's everything. So, so uh, there was a night recently where where you had the cha Champions League final and Kessler playing at the same night. So we got a big, or like together with another group, we got a big uh, arrangement together and all met up in the bar and watched those two events. Uh, some guys have gone to to do some uh, paintballing at one point. Uh, uh, you know, people, all sorts of socializing, really. Uh, uh, golf, running, uh, the football.